Ashley, welcome back to my channel. Today I am putting together a little bake with me video um, and today I'm going to be baking my lactation cookies that I use um, that have increased my milk supply. Um, it is actually a dairy free recipe because I cut dairy out um, as we were finding out that you know my son who's four months old right now he was pretty gassy and just seemed uncomfortable and everything so our pediatrician recommended that we cut out the dairy in my diet to see if that made a difference and it did um, so I found a recipe to make lactation cookies that didn't have any dairy in it and they are so good I make them all the time um, this so little guy woke up from his nap so I figured I would let him come and join our little bake with me today can you say hi say hi yeah <laughs> yeah so the recipe that I use I actually tweaked a little bit um, to my liking um, so I will show you you look it so I will show you um, all of the ingredients that I use, everything that you will need, um, and then I'll take you on the preparation and baking of the lactation cookies to provide milk for this little guy. Here's my little helper. Can you say hi? Here's my little helper. So the ingredients you will need are peanut butter, coconut oil, old-fashioned rolled oats, brewer's yeast, whole wheat flour, flaxseed, some cooking spray, vanilla extract, ground cinnamon, cranberries, dried cranberries, light brown sugar, and baking soda. You'll also need a cup, half a cup, and a fourth of a cup, a tablespoon, and a teaspoon, and a mixing bowl, and two trays. The first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Then you'll take your peanut butter and your coconut oil and you'll put them into a microwave safe bowl and pop it into the microwave um, for about a minute until it gets soft enough to where you can mix the peanut butter and the coconut oil together. After you've mixed those two together, you'll get two eggs, which I forgot to put um, in the ingredients at the beginning, but yes, you do need two eggs, um, and you put those in along with the brown sugar and the cinnamon and the vanilla, um, and mix it all together. Once that is all nice and smooth, you'll add in your dry ingredients. This includes your oats and the flour and the brewer's yeast, which is the key component in this recipe um, for the 
boosted milk supply um, and when it says two heaping tablespoons you definitely do two heaping tablespoons um, and also the flax seed and the baking soda as well So this part of the recipe is where you can do some variation. Here you see I'm doing um, dried cranberries to put in there for a little bit of extra sweetness. Um, sometimes I'll do a whole cup of cranberries, sometimes I'll do half a cup of cranberries and half a cup of um, dairy-free chocolate chips. There was one time that I tried walnuts, which I do not recommend because I did not think it was good at all. Um, but whatever you choose, just do a cup of it um, or a mixture. Um, to make it a whole cup and then you mix it all together. Next you're going to spray your cookie sheets. I use a larger cookie sheet and then also a medium sized cookie sheet. This recipe does make about two dozen give or take um, depending on how large you make your cookies for me it typically makes a little bit more than two dozen um, but you just take a large spoon and you drop it onto the tray um, and the cookie dough is pretty chunky um, and like I said you just drop it onto the tray you don't have to form it into balls or anything like that um, when it bakes in the oven and they get warm they spread out just a little bit but not too much um, so you just kind of have to space them out just a little bit um, but yeah and then you just fill up the cookie tray and throw them in the oven Happy boy. I love you. Oh yeah. You got your butterfly? Up. 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 it um, as soon as they come out of the oven I let them cool of course they're the best 
when they are still hot and warm and oh my gosh they are so good um, but usually after they cool I usually put about half of them um, in a container to munch on while I'm at home and then the other half I usually put into baggies I usually put two in a bag and I take them to work with me um, and I munch on them as I pump so every time I pump while I'm working I snack on one um, and I've seen a really big difference in my milk supply um, ever since I started making these um, and I started them when Jax was about a month and a half old um, so I have been making them for about three three and a half months now so yeah so if you like this video and you want to see more baking and cooking videos um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you guys in the next one bye, bye.